Hello, welcome back, I'm Statman Dave, and today we're taking a look at who is Cody Gakpo and why the PSV forward is wanted by Arsenal and Liverpool. Remember to subscribe if you are new and smash that like button, but anyway, let's get this party started. Born in Eindhoven in the Netherlands on the 7th of May 1999, Cody Matthias Gakpo is a full Dutch international who plays for PSV Eindhoven. Gakpo began his career at EVV Eindhoven before he joined PSV in 2017, thanks to a cooperation deal between the clubs that allows young players to be swapped. Gakpo made his professional debut for Young PSV in November 2016 at 17. After scoring 17 goals and registering 6 assists in 25 appearances for the under-21s, Gakpo was integrated into the senior setup. He made his PSV debut at 18 in a 3-1 win over Feyenoord in 2018 and managed to register 5 assists in less than 400 Eredivisie minutes in the 18-19 campaign. Since then, Gakpo has been directly involved in 45 Eredivisie goals in 3 seasons with PSV, despite averaging just 67 minutes per appearance. But where does he play? Cody Gakpo is a versatile forward that's had minutes on both flanks at number 10 and even up front. Despite that, the Dutchman is probably at his best when playing on the left wing, where he's able to cut in onto his stronger right foot. Standing at 6 foot 2, Gakpo is a large and imposing winger. His size allows him to hold off defenders and makes him a powerful runner, whilst his agility and acceleration make him a real live wire when the ball is at his feet. But Gakpo isn't all about physical attributes. He's got a lot of technical ability, especially when dribbling, but he's also got great awareness. This allows him to make great use of space, whilst he's got the vision and creative passing to make things happen in the final third. For PSV, one of Gakpo's most useful skills is his spatial awareness. Like a lot of Dutch footballers, Gakpo is a tactically intelligent player and uses intelligence to find pockets of space that he can receive in, notably in the left half space between the opposition's lines. This either narrows the opposition's shape to block these passes into the forward, creating space out wide for a supporting fullback, or it leaves Gakpo free to receive, turn and run directly at the back line. But Gakpo doesn't just receive central there are other occasions where he holds the width, leaving himself in a 1v1 situation with the opposition's right back. These situations are arguably where Gakpo is at his most dangerous, as his combination of speed, strength, agility and ball control make him almost undefendable. He's not a big one for over-the-top skills, instead the Dutchman tends to drop a shoulder, shifting the ball in the opposite direction going past the defender, often following up with a creative pass to a teammate or a 1-2, or alternatively unleashing a powerful width shot. Gakpo loves cutting inside with the ball and operating just outside the box. From these positions, he's got a great view of the pitch with space to attack. This allows him to play balls over the top for teammates making runs on the last line, slip through ball, in behind, or combining with his fellow teammates. His well-rounded skill set and the variety of options he has has made him one of the area of disease leading creators this season. In fact, only creative king Dusan Tadic has created more chances per 90 than the 22-year-old. What's also a good sign is that Gakpo definitely doesn't shy away from defensive duties, whilst he offers a big threat in the transition, which often sees him stay in aggressive counter-attacking positions high up the pitch. He does get back to help out with his fullback, which is a great illustration of his determination and work rate. Whilst a very bright talent, Cody Gakpo isn't quite the finished article. There are times where his first touch lets him down. Like all young forwards, he can make wrong decisions, especially when dribbling, but this is all to be expected. He could also improve airily for such an imposing winger. At six foot two, Gakpo could also play as a wide target man, but he's never scored a goal with his head in the league. Adding this kind of play to his game would truly make him a complete wide man. So what's next for the 22-year-old? Averaging a goal involvement every 69 minutes in the Dutch top flight, Gakpo is ready for the next step. And with his skill set and recent rapid improvement, the sky is the limit. Linked with a whole host of top European sides, including Manchester United, Bayern Munich, Gakpo needs to make the right decision for his career and game time is key. Two hotly fancied Premier League options include Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool and Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. Despite the reports that Firmino and Mane could be on their way out of Anfield, I think a move to Arsenal makes a lot of sense for Gakpo. Not quite challenging for the title, Arsenal would allow Gakpo to develop under less pressure. He also fits the demographic for Arteta's young guns. His versatility to play in different positions and still 
still be effective, could be perfect for Arsenal, allowing his young stars to be rotated whilst retaining their tactical identity and maybe even move to be a forward. But anyway, guys, what do you think? Where will Cody Gakpo be playing next season? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you are new. I've been Statman Dave. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some more content on the Statman Dave YouTube channel?